Welcome to the Dealing with Goliath podcast. The mission of Dealing with Goliath is to sharpen the psychological edge in business leaders with skin in the game who want to be more effective under pressure, uncover hidden value, and increase profitability. With expert guests across the business spectrum, we, we deliver gems of wisdom, delving into their methods, their thinking and approach to business life, and problem solving. This is the double espresso shot of insight through our short interview format where we are as quick and concise as it can be with five questions in just nine minutes. I'm your host, Al McBride, and my guest today is Karen Spencer. Karen is the creator of Rewire Your Mind Coaching Model that helps people move from stressing to progressing in three simple steps. She's a master practitioner, trainer, and coach in the American Board of NLP, as well as certified practitioner of many other coaching modalities. Today, she's helped clients in more than 15 cities throughout North America transform their lives. Karen is an avid animal lover, Oh, owning a variety of both dogs and horses throughout her life. Welcome, Karen. Hi, great to have you on the show. Thank you, Al. I'm so excited. Great. And where are you joining us from today? I am situated just slightly north of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, in a town called Aurora. And that is where I'm talking to you from today. Outstanding. Outstanding. Mm -hmm. Beautiful Canada. Uh, out. Oh, beautiful. The leaves are turning color. It's that fall. It's our Thanksgiving weekend this weekend. Oh, so okay. it really is a magical time um, of year here. So Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. Well, excellent. Well, we will begin at our five questions in nine minutes uh, right about now. So, Karen, who is your ideal client and what's the biggest challenge that they face? So my ideal client is really what I call a smart, passionate individual that has had this insight, that has had this awareness that how they think um, and who they think they are needs to change in order for them to have the life or have the success that they uh, truly want. So they've come to this awareness that they're stuck in their thinking. It's not working for them anymore. They are telling themselves stories that they are less than the magnificent person, business person, creator that they truly are. And they know that that storyline, that internal storyline needs to be changed for them to reach their goals. And that they are really truly stuck in um, old ways of being. Mm. And they've tried a lot of things. Typically people who come to me have tried many, many different um, ways to get out of the problem. Um, they maybe have tried some therapy, they've maybe tried some medication, maybe they tried some meditation, um, some yoga, and all those things are, are adding upon each other and getting them slightly down the road, but it's not breaking through. It's okay. not giving them that, that breakthrough. It's not giving them that. Now it's easy and effortless for me to achieve my goals, for me to have the life that I want, for me to have the health that I've been desiring, for me to attract the relationship that I've been dreaming about. Right. So they're looking for that breakthrough and they basically have had enough. They're really okay. at a point of, um, I will do just about anything because what I've been doing so far isn't working to the way I want it. Well, that, that's prompting my next question very nicely there, which what are the common mistakes your clients uh, make in trying to solve that problem before they come to you? Uh, you mentioned, you know, they've tried various routes. Are there any particular patterns there? I mean, I'm sure it makes them very frustrated. But Well, they look like me because <laughs> I, I struggled with anxiety and, and anyone who goes and reads about me, you know, for many years. So what they look like or what, they've, what their mistakes are is the mistakes that I made, which yeah. is dealing with only the symptoms of the problem. Right. And what the symptom typically is, is I want to change how I feel. Because that's what we really resonate with. We resonate not feeling confident. We resonate not feeling um, um, successful, rather than not feeling good, not feeling happy. So we just want to change that really, really quickly. And so what we do is we adopt really cool uh, but meaningless overall coping skills. So we take up retail therapy. We maybe have a little bit of a, of a drink. We may be um, engaging in some you know, recreational drugs. We may be in bad relationships all these things to try to get to that state of where I'm feeling better. Mm. And so the problem is, is that they're not dealing with the root. 
the root of why they're feeling the way they're feeling and subsequently not having the behaviors that get to where they want to go is their thinking. What is going on in their mind that they're thinking about relentlessly over and over and over again that needs to change? And what we know with the leading edge neuroscience and the discoveries over the last 20 years is that most of our thinking, 90% of our thinking is out of our awareness. Mm. So it's not our conscious thinking that we need to address most likely. It is our unconscious thinking, our deepest core beliefs about ourselves and about life and whether or not it's, it's easy or hard and good or bad is in our unconscious. And it's based on our past. It's based on memories. It's based on our childhood programming. And that, that's the thinking that needs to be adjusted so right. that it, so that we lead towards feeling better and towards behaving better. Excellent. I mean, that, that's a, it's a very interesting one that it, it, it's almost like, you know, someone going to a doctor with a presenting problem. Yes. As you said, often the doctor is looking for what's the underlying cause rather than just treating the symptoms. Right. Uh, so it's, it's, a, it's a very, very interesting one. Because as you said, the symptoms are the obvious thing to treat, aren't they? But oh, yeah. it'll keep coming back, as you say, unless you, you get to the cause. So and that, that's, you can get immediate relief in that symptom, but it's not mm-hmm. long lasting. And as soon as you take that strategy away, if you don't want to do that anymore, you don't want to you know, spend all your money on dozens of shoes in your closet, like Mm -hmm. yourself, you realize, I don't want to do that. Then you realize that you're right back to where you started and you really haven't. So you can waste a lot of time and money and energy focusing in the wrong direction because you're trying to get to a place that you just can't get from there. Absolutely. It's like uh, Albert Ellis said, it's not about feeling better. It's about getting better. And I think that's Absolutely. kind of what you're doing here. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. I mean, I've read the, the testimonials on your website and the sense of change from before and after is truly remarkable. You, you can see that it's night and day difference, you know. It is. And, and it doesn't have to take the, the other thing that we hear a lot or we were told is that that change has to be arduous and over a long period of time Mm -hmm. and it doesn't because once we deal with that core part of you that that natural intelligence Mm. uh, part of the person and we get back to the original programming upon which they came into this world because nobody comes into this world feeling unworthy nobody comes into this world feeling they're not lovable this is programming we've picked up along the way so once we get to the right place and we make those changes we go right back to wholeness very, very quickly. And so the change, people typically start to feel better within the second week of my coaching. And by the time we're fully done, which is about month three or four, Mm -hmm. you know, they're off to a whole new way of being. Wow. And tell us, Karen, what is one valuable free action that your ideal client can take that won't solve the problem, but will start moving them in the right direction? This is the one thing I always like to tell people is I like them to sit back and just think about how they're spending, and I'm going to use that word, spending their attention. Mm. So I call it the currency of attention. So we are all very used to spending our money with, um, in the right direction. You would not go out, Al, and buy something that was going to make you feel less than happy, less than good, unhealthy, lead you to some kind of bad result you you spend your money in the direction towards making you feel healthy good and experience that you want and so i'd like people to start to have some awareness just stop themselves and say how am i spending my attention meaning my focus mm. because that too is a limited um and valuable resource so if you think about am i putting my attention on the outcome that i don't want to show up Am I putting my attention on, you know, the what if scenarios, the, mm-hmm. the, the negativity? And if I am, then I'm spending my attention in the wrong direction. And I need to spend it like I spend my money, my currency, because my attention is currency. I need to change my focus towards what I do want. And the challenge for people is that you, to do that, even when the result isn't in front of them right now, right now, just to right here, right now, just to be able to say, I'm going to focus on the result being perfect, even though everything right here, right now may say that it's not going to be, or the chances are, I am not going to go there. I'm going to focus on the result that I truly want. Because what you think about, what you invest in, 
is where you get your results. So be careful of where you spend that currency. Is Absolutely. that the result you really, really want? It's a beautiful question. It's a beautiful point about where you focus. That's literally where your energy goes and where your expectations go. And as I said, it lines up with beliefs, as you said earlier. So it's a hugely important factor. Uh, what might be joining, just adding on to that, what might be one free valuable resource that you could direct people to that would help them with that? Well, on my website, I have a tool, a free audio tool, and it's called, I called it Focus and Peace. Mm-hmm. And it, it is like a, it's a very quick meditative tool mm-hmm. where people, it just allows us to slow down and to bring our focus back to here and now and with ourselves. So when we find ourselves in a anxiety or uncertainty or panic and all these all these states that are really quite prickly right now, given the world events, we're outside of ourselves. We're focused on what's going on in the world, what's going on, you know, outside of myself and with my relationships, with the economy, with the elections, whatever. And this tool will help us stop that and bring it right back very quickly, very easily, and just center it back on me, on myself. And when you do, you realize that when you're in the moment of now, Everything is perfect because anything outside of the now moment is just an idea of what may happen. It's no more than an idea. It's a guess. Mm -hmm. So where we want to be, where we're most effective, where we're most, where we're our best selves is when we're in the moment now. And that's when we become the most resourceful because we know when we're in the now moment, we're centered with us. We are resourceful and we are powerful and we can make the decisions we need to make in this moment and deal with it and we don't have to worry about the next moments because we will do that again when those moments show up so just deal with what's in front of you right here right now and so this tool you listen to it it's my voice it just helps people calm down it's something you can do anywhere at any time you don't need to you know set up any kind of grandiose you know, situation, you can be in your car before you walk into your office or anywhere. And it just settles you and brings you right back right here, right now. And you cannot overdo this tool. The more you do it, the better you feel. It sounds like a great, uh, a great thing that people should, mm-hmm. should uh, try out and, yes. and apply. Absolutely. Yes. Um, we're just entering the last minute uh, of our interview. Um, So what is the one question I should have asked you that would be of great value to our audience? Um, I think a lot of people ask, you know, will this work for me? I always get that. I have a consolation. You know, maybe that's good for so-and-so, but it might not work for me. Mm -hmm. And what I want everyone to hear and yourself too is that we are all biologically designed to reach this beautiful state of back to our our wholeness, back to where we are magnificent, back to where we are creative, back to where we have no limitation. We are all that that is. We can we can resource, we can attract, we can create whatever it is that we want. There is no person this doesn't reply to uh, apply to. What they just need is a couple of things. One, they need to have awareness that what they're doing right now is not working. And if I continue to do this, I can see down the road that I'm just going to land up exactly where I am. And the second thing they need then is to make a decision that I've had enough, that I've spent enough time, money, and energy doing that, and I'm going to do something different for myself and achieve change quickly and easily and effortlessly so that life can start right now. Awesome. (laughs) Thank you so much, Karen. That's outstanding. Uh, I will, of course, post links uh, to Karen's website and to that fantastic resource in the show notes. And it'll also be if you're looking on YouTube beneath the video. And hopefully we can have Karen back for a, a longer conversation a little bit down the line. I would love that. I, I would love fabulous. That. There's an awful lot there to unpack. And uh, the nine minutes, it's a very tight, concise format. But uh, as I said, it, it always leaves me wanting to ask far more questions. <laughs> so hopefully we can have a chat again soon. All right. Thank you for being on the show, Karen. My pleasure. Cheers. <laughs>